Now there are many millions and millions of people worldwide who are suffering with hair loss. The young, the middle age, as well as the elder. Although we know that hair loss can come from many different things, but there's one thing that can be corrected that many people are suffering from. You see this little vitamin right here? I'm sure that many of you know what this vitamin is. It's vitamin D. That's correct. Vitamin D deficiency. That's the big problem. And if you look at the things that you do every day, where you're at, that you're not in the sun like you used to when you were younger. You drive in your car, you go to work, you spend hours and hours sitting in the chair at the computer or possibly anywhere else, but you're not in the sun. You may be home, sitting around, underneath the roof, on your computer, on your smartphone. That's the big problem. Yes, we know that the sunlight helps the conversion in our skin into vitamin D. And too much exposure of those ultraviolet rays can definitely cause damaging of our skin. And we also know it's very difficult to get the amount of vitamin D that our body really requires through our foods. Most people don't get enough from their food. And a great source is our fatty fishes, our herring, sardines, our canned tuna, egg yolks, mushrooms, our dairy and plant milks, as well as our orange juices that are fortified with vitamin D. But what if you don't like fatty fish? What if you don't eat much dairy? then obviously you're going to become deficient in vitamin D. And not every doctor checks vitamin D levels. Unfortunately, they wait until symptoms get so bad and they finally figure it out and they say, wow. So then they recommend you better start taking your vitamin D or your problems are going to give you more problems. And you're looking at someone who has no hair, but it's definitely not from vitamin D deficiency. Although I can only imagine all these beautiful people who are losing their hair and they go to doctors, dermatologists, they start taking different types of medications and they realize their hair loss is still occurring. And that's a horrible feeling. And I'm not taking sides, but I would have to tell you that if I was a female, I would be a little more sensitive than if I was a male. That may not be the right thing to tell you, but that's just my opinion because look at me. I don't have hair. I'm happy. So let's put that aside. And please don't go anywhere because here's something you really want to hear. There's a dear family member that's close to me who unfortunately started having hair loss. Went to many doctors, went on medications. She obviously is middle aged. And she's been very depressed. She puts some weight on. She gets lots of aching in her joints. She's extremely tired all the time. Yes, they check her glucose levels. They check her blood work. All her levels are perfectly normal. Her thyroid is normal. Her organs are normal. Everything was normal at the time, although they did not check vitamin D. And realize that vitamin D symptoms are just not hair loss very, very common weakness of the immune system, getting colds, having a hard time healing, getting going in your life. You just, your thoughts, your train of thought, your concentration. Yes, many of you may be saying, wow, that's me. And yes, it may be you, but there is hope. Hold on. So to make a long story short, I started doing my homework. I started doing research in PubMed, National Library of Sciences, pulled up all these studies. And so many of these people were very young in the 20s and the 30s, losing their hair. And I'm saying, wow, this doesn't make sense. But yes, it did make sense because it rang a bell in my mind that I had her levels checked and they were terribly low, but no one's ever caught this. So to supplement, I started her on 5,000 IUs, okay? 5,000 IUs of vitamin D. 
And you may be thinking, well, just taking vitamin D, is that going to help me? You must be taking it correctly because many of you are taking your vitamin D not with fat because vitamin D is fat soluble. So when you take your vitamin D with fat, your food, I recommend take it with a meal. If you don't with olive oil, avocado, peanuts, it will get assimilated. Otherwise, you're wasting your time getting your D. Just because you take vitamin D doesn't mean it's, it's getting assimilated, but it's very important you take it correctly. Within the first five to seven days, I saw a tremendous change in her energy. Within the first month, I started seeing changes with her hair growth. And every week after that first month, I continue to see tremendous changes, like she was a totally new person. Not only with her hair, but her energy. Didn't get sick like she used to. She wasn't having that aching sensation. She was sleeping much better. Everything totally turned around. And then I look back and I say, wow, how long was she having these deficiencies going on? I don't know. It could have been months. It could have been years. Because when she went to the dermatologist, they said, well, that's just a normal type of hair loss. It's nothing to worry about. But realize that vitamin D works directly with the hair follicles. That without it, those hair follicles don't grow. They start to die off. And if this, these hair follicles die off long enough, they may not rejuvenate and regenerate ever again. So the sooner we get on this problem, the better. And right now you're thinking, how much vitamin D should I take? Well. The standard dietary recommendation here in the United States for females and males between the ages of 19 to 70 is approximately 600 IUs. Over 70 years of age, 800 IUs. Now think about this. If we have problems assimilating our foods, digesting nutrients, that's not going to be enough. I personally, I cannot recommend for anyone I take 5,000 IUs and my levels are still not as high as I'd like it to be because there are other factors to consider. Each individual assimilates and works differently in their bodily chemistry. So there's something you want to speak to your doctor about. I would, in my opinion, at least start out with 1,000 or 2,000 IUs. That's standard. You can go up to 5,000. Some people may even recommend more depending upon your, con your condition, but it's always good to speak to your doctor. And one other thing I wanted to mention is sleeping because there's a direct correlation with low vitamin Ds and insomnia, lack of sleep, getting to sleep, staying to sleep. And we realize that sleep is the most important thing we can do for our body because our body can go through autophagy. It goes through healing of our cells that die during the day. It repairs. It gives our organs, our pancreas, as well as other parts within our system to rest. There are many physiological changes that take place when we sleep. And if we're not getting our sleep, it's going to potentially affect our hormones, affect our ghrelin levels. We're going to overeat. It's going to affect insulin resistance. It's going to affect metabolic syndrome. It can affect high blood pressure, heart disease, and the list goes on. The bottom line is we need to sleep. So that one symptom can be a lifesaver that if you're not sleeping right, and you're blaming on everything in the world, and you're taking sleeping medications, which have serious side effects, you might want to consider supplementing with vitamin D. It can make all the difference in the world, and it may be the biggest blessing you may ever have in your whole life because your relationships, your emotional self-esteem, your oneness within yourself, your thinking, your creativity, your jobs, the, the, what you do every day is all related to you, how you feel. And if you're not feeling good, you're, you're not going to perform the way that you would love to perform. So I hope that this information does tremendous good for you, your loved ones and family. I will attach some PubMed studies so you can review, just so you can see that this clinically has been proven that low vitamin D levels can definitely lead to hair loss as well as many other conditions. And I know this video was a little bit longer than I expected, but 
I really care about your health. And I really hope this makes a big difference for you, your loved ones, and friends. And please share this video with them. Leave your comments below. I hope there'll be many so we can learn from your experiences. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.